In this video, I'll show you how we created our obstacle course project. The first thing I want to go over is just how to set up Make Code for Minecraft. If you go to minecraft.makecode.com slash setup, you'll find the full instructions as well as links for what you need to download and install. Make Code works with both Minecraft for Windows 10 and Minecraft Education Edition. In this case, I'm using Minecraft for Windows 10, which you can download and install from the Microsoft Store. The next step you'll need to do is install an app called Code Connection. There's a link for where you can download it here. But essentially, you can just download Code Connection, and that will allow you to connect Make Code to the Minecraft game. Let's first run through our obstacle course. So here I am in Minecraft. It looks like the first thing I'll need to do is walk through fire. And you can see as I walk, there is fire blocks um, being placed at my feet. The next challenge is looks like I have to climb this wall. So I'm going to head and climb it and it looks like there's some glass blocks being placed uh, right above my head here. All right, so finally I got to the top of this wall. Now it looks like I need to fly to the rainbow beacon over here. So let's go ahead and fly. Oh, look, when I fly, it looks like there are chickens spawning above my head. All right, what does it say in the rainbow beacon? It says, take a swim in lava and then in water. Okay, well, I need to skip these chicks, that's for sure. Um, and it looks like the lava is down below me here. So let's see if I can line myself up and then take a fall. <laughs> All right. What happens when I swim in lava? Oh, it looks like when I swim in lava, there's water being placed around me, and water and lava make stone. And then what happens when I swim in water? Oh, look at that. We get all sorts of aquatic animals like dolphins and fish and salmon and more chickens, of course. All right, so that's my obstacle course. Now let's take a look at how we can code our obstacle course. So here I am in Code Connection in Make Code. I'm going to click on New Project to create a brand new project. Now for the obstacle course, we're using the on player block primarily. So I'm going to delete this on chat command by dragging and dropping it over my toolbox. Then I'm going to open up my player toolbox drawer and select that on player block here and drag and drop it onto my workspace. The first thing in my obstacle course was when I walked, I placed fire. So I'm going to open up my blocks toolbox drawer, find that place block, and drag and drop it into my on player walk block. Then I'm going to use this drop down menu to select fire. So you can go ahead and use the search bar as well. All right, so I'm going to place fire at my player's location here. Um, in order to climb, remember when I climbed, I put glass blocks above my player's head. I'm going to use another on player block for that. And this time, instead of walk, I'm going to use this drop down menu to select climb. And then again, open up my blocks toolbox drawer and drag that place block block right underneath here and then find the glass block from the drop-down menu here. All right, and I'm going to place this two blocks above uh, my player's feet, so right above my head every time I try to climb. The next part of our obstacle course was when I flew. And when I flew, you'll remember that there were chickens spawning above my head. So open up your player toolbox drawer again, find that on player block, and drag and drop it onto your workspace. Use the drop down menu to select fly. Then open up your mobs toolbox drawer, 
find the spawn animal block and drag and drop that over and select whatever animal you would like to spawn and place the position five blocks above your head. Now we want to spawn more than just one chicken so I'm going to open up my loops toolbox drawer find that repeat block and drag and drop that around my spawn animal block and I'll spawn 10 chickens every time I fly. The last piece was swimming in lava and water. So go ahead and open up your player toolbox drawer again, drag out an on player block, and you can also use a shortcut. By right clicking on a block, you can select duplicate. So for this instance, we wanted um, swimming in lava and swimming in water. So for swimming in lava, I placed a block of water. So use that place block block again in this case and find water from the drop down menu here. And then for swimming in water, I just spawned a bunch of different aquatic animals. So open up your mobs toolbox drawer find that spawn animal block, drag and drop it into your on player swim block, and use this drop down menu to select a bunch of different aquatic animals. And again, you can right click on a block and select duplicate to make more copies of that block. Alright, so I'm going to select a dolphin, a puffer fish, and uh, maybe some tropical fish. Alright, and that's my obstacle course code.